Hi everyone, welcome back. We are in the many project idea that is the third idea which I'm going to give it to you and I will definitely discuss the code for the mini project one and two. So whenever I get time, I'll just complete it and I'll share it with you. So don't worry. Meanwhile, I'll just share the ideas uh, every Sunday. Okay, so don't forget to watch it. So today, uh, based on the request from the subscriber and the viewers, so we are going to discuss about the manufacturing uh, industry. That is uh, how to uh, or the, how to use the business central, how to create a mini project for the bus, uh, using business central for a manufacturing uh, domain. Okay, so I have named it as a smart factory that is streamlining manufacturing operations with business central. So here, what we are going to uh, see first, let us understand what is this. So, streamlining manufacturing operations is a mini project in business central aimed to improving the manufacturing process through automation and optimization. It involves the use of various business central objects such as tables, reports, pages, queries and everything um, which is used to streamline the manufacturing process and reduce manual intervention. So that is what the idea behind it. Okay, so this is the objective. This is the overall objective to optimize the manufacturing process and reduce manual intervention to provide real time insights into the manufacturing process to improve the accuracy and reliability of the manufacturing process. So we'll be discussing about like what are the table which we can create, what are the pages which we can create, what are the coordinates, uh, queries and reports. So I'm again telling you that these are all the generic idea which I had in my mind. I'm having in my mind. So even if you wanted to add some more uh, tables into it, please do that. And even if you want to add some more fields into it, please go ahead. Okay, this is just to start give you a quick start on how to create all these things so don't worry or don't stick on like only these things can be done uh, with the manufacturing and business central okay so if you are new to business central so i just wanted to give you a small uh, understanding of what is table okay so table is a database uh, that stores data in a business central tables can use to store and manage a wide range of data including customer information inventory sales manufacturing blah 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 so everything you can store it so as of now i'm just going to show you like what are the table which we can create so one is the production order okay and the item table a resource table capacity table and production uh, schedule okay so in this like what are all the fields which you can create so that is very important and essential right so what are the fields which we can create with this is what you can uh, create um, uh, fields like uh, for the production order you can create a fields like uh, order id okay item uh, id quantity start date end date resource id capacity id status etc okay next one is item uh, for item table you can add item id item description item type so in the production order you, uh, your item id will be a foreign key in item your item id will be the primary key next one is the resource table resource id okay description resource description and resource type where you can use the resource id in the production order as a primary foreign key okay that is the secondary key probably so capacity in capacity table you can add capacity id capacity um, description capacity type likewise you have to add the capacity id as a secondary key in the production order in order to join Next one is the production schedule. You can add schedule ID, start date, end date, production order ID, item ID, a quantity, resource ID, capacity ID, status, etc. Everything. So let us discuss about the page. So what is a page? So page is user interface object. So you can see the page which you can interact with the business central. Pages can be used to display and edit data in a user friendly way with various fields, filters and actions available to the user. So here we'll be creating the page for order. Uh, that is what here you can see production order where this is for the order, uh, item, resource, capacity and production schedule. So you should think like for what type of uh, uh, pages you have to create, whether you have to create a list page, card page. Of course, we need a list and card page for everything, every table. So apart from this, if you need a navigation page, you can create worksheet page. 
so it all depends on your um, creativity okay so next one is a query you can create these queries so these are all the possible queries which we can create is what the production order query okay queries which you can create is what production order query and uh, item query um resource query capacity query and production production schedule query so what these queries will do that will be your highest uh, uh, doubts right so what these queries will so the so the production order query so the production order query provides information about the production order such as the order number item number start and end date and the quantity produced item query uh, the second query okay this query will provide information about the item used in the production process such as the item number description unit of measure and inventory level a resource query will provide the information about the resources used in the production process such as machines equipments labor if anything such if you want to add so it can also include the details like what is the resource number description capacity and availability next one is the capacity query uh, which provides the information about the capacity of the resources used in the production process it also includes details like the resource number capacity and the utilization and the production schedule query this query provides information about the production schedule including the order number item number start and end date and the resource allocation so you can think about to add more queries like this okay so so you can uh, decide if you wanted to add more queries like a bill of material queries if you wanted to add you can add work center queries so query which is available for man manufacturing facilities like that quality control query around routing queries like that you can add more so next one is the code unit so we have some few code units for that you can create it so production order code unit so uh, if you wanted to write why we need specifically we need code unit is what you usually you know we will not write the logic exactly directly in the page or in the table okay so we will be writing the um, um that is a code in that is a logic in um, a code in it and then we will be using that logic okay uh, that specific logic uh, anywhere uh, like where, wherever we need it so we will be using that okay so that is what the purpose of the code in it okay so we have the code in it the code in it is also an object here okay so uh, these are uh, code in it you can create in order to write the logic okay so what you are going to write all these logic so what is the logic which you wanted to create it for the uh, production order code in it is what you can uh, write the logic like uh, to say um, uh, it can use to manage and process production orders it uh, includes the functions uh, to calculate the required resource and material schedule the production order and track the progress of the order okay so this is what the production order next one is the item code unit which is used to manage and process the inventory item used in the production process what are the inventory item you can include the functions to calculate the item requirements for the production order and track the inventory level of the item so next one is the resource code unit so in this particular code unit you can use to manage the process uh, pro manage and process the production resource such as machine and tools um, which are used in the production process okay you can even write the function to calculate the availability and the utilization of resource schedule and use of the resource and track the maintenance of the resource capacity code unit is used to manage and process the production or capacity of the manufacturing plant so it also includes uh, functions to calculate the available uh, available capacity schedule the use of the capacity and track the utilization of the capacity finally to say the production schedule coordinate which is used to manage and process the production schedule for the manufacturing plant so it also includes the functions to schedule the production orders resources and capacity based on the availability of the requirement of each so next which we wanted to create is what the report so report is a document that presents data in a structured format okay so we need a report for a few things like we have to show the report
so first one is a production order report okay so this report can be used to generate a list of all the production orders which details such as order id item id quantity start date end date resource id capacity id etc next one is the item report this report can be used to generate a list of all items with details such as item id item description and item type and then resource report this report can be used to generate a list of all the resources with the details such as resource id etc capacity report which is used to generate the uh, list of all the capa capacities which we have and the production schedule report which is used to generate the list of all the production schedules you can even create a request page for that you can write the uh, you can uh, create a triggers you can uh, you can basically write uh, uh, like you can join you can come in multiple tables in order to get a perfect report for this so finally you can write the validations for uh, these level like one is the production order okay you can write the validation of planned quantity versus, versus an actual quantity okay so which is the validation for checking the availability of the resource okay next one is the item in item level this is for the production order this you can write it either in the page or in the table so you can think about the performance like how to write it and where to write it this is for item level so validation of the inventory levels okay to check the production order if, if you want to check the production orders like you have you can uh, write the validation for the inventory level finally you can write it for the resource that is validation of resource availability checking for the quantity of items you want so um thank you if you have any comments or queries please post it if you feel like you can add this uh, that please leave your comment because uh, whoever is seeing this video whoever is seeing the comment will be definitely um uh, uh, benefited out of it and if you have any queries please leave your queries if i know it i'll definitely help you if i don't know i will learn and try to help you so um it's just sharing is caring so uh, other than this I am just whenever I am getting time, I am creating the code okay for the mini project. Uh, soon I will come up with a, a project like code for every projects whatever we are discussing. So anyhow, I will not stop uh, uh, publishing the ideas for the mini uh, mini uh, ideas for the mini project. So take care.